Hello and welcome to Programming for Engineers. This is EGN3214. I'm Dr. Ron Eaglin and I'm going to help you get started with a successful start to Programming for Engineers. First thing is, is this, yes, this is a programming course, but if you're looking at Programming for Engineers, it's more than just being able to sit down behind a computer and code because engineers use programming as a tool to solve real problems. So the first thing that you're going to want to definitely understand about this class is that every submission is an engineering report. And I give you some really good guidelines of how to write engineering reports. But the bottom line is you really want to get used to writing engineering reports because you're going to be doing lots of engineering reports. Not just in this class, but working as an engineer, that's just the name of the game. The programming aspect of the course is simply an incredibly powerful tool to allow you to solve engineering problems. And you're going to get really hopefully used to using the tool. So let's first start and look at what you've got to know about the tool. We are using Python as our language, but Python has a distribution called the Anaconda distribution. The Anaconda distribution has Python, but it also has a large number of really useful tools and libraries that you can use with Python as the language to solve all sorts of problems. And so you would want to come down here to the Anaconda distribution, pick the environment that you're going to download for, and, and look at this. This is beautiful. You got Windows, you got Mac, you got Linux. We're going to use the 3x version of Python. So in this case, the latest version is 3.7. But Considering that somebody may be using watching this video a year from now and it might be 3.8 or 3.9, but there are differences between the 2x and the 3x version, but everything that I'm writing and all the code that I write is really designed for the 3x version. So um, you go to anaconda.com distribution and you can easily find this and do the download. Once you've downloaded and installed the distribution, and I do highly recommend that when you install the distribution, that you are install the Python, that you do it and allow it to make the modifications to your path because you are going to be doing command line. And if you don't make those modifications to the path in command line uh, while you're doing the installation, you're going to have to do it by hand later. Not that you can't do that, but it's something that you're going to have to know how to do. Once you do this, you are going to have the IDE that we're going to use. IDE basically is the environment that we're going to do to write Python code. And you're going to get used to the editor, which is called the Spider Editor. It's a wonderful editor. And one of the things that you should know right off the bat, if you've looked at the concept of writing computer programs before, and this concept of writing and then compiling, Python's a little bit different. You can do that. Python allows for this. But what you can also do is say, here is some code. If I want to just execute this code right here, all I got to do is highlight it, and I can hit my little play button there, or I there, you know, there's there's more than one way to do it. I'll hit the play button, and it'll actually go ahead and it will execute that code, and then give you the results over here in the um, in the console. So I usually like to do this, and I usually do the control enter, and that's the way that I I mean I just get used to the shortcuts. Control enter, highlight, control enter, boom, there it is. It shows up, and look at this. Console, this is my editing area. This is my console. And the console says, here's what you executed. Here's what happens. Now, I notice I, in this case, I didn't print out the Y. I could do that. Print. I can do it formatted, but I don't need to. Print Y. And whoops. And now I can execute the whole thing. And um, Control Enter, the quickest way to do it. And whoops. Um, Got to do it with the correct case. And actually now, since I've already executed the other pieces, all i got to do is just that print Y. And if you came down here and looked at that, it's going to have the output, and that Y is going to be 5. Yeah, that's what happens. Notice that I just pointed out to you that the commands that are built into Python are case sensitive. Another way to look at the value of Y is up here in this window called the Variable Explorer, where I actually can see the values of all the variables, including the Y that I just, just calculated that. That is really makes really working in Python really nice and easy. The fact that you can write pieces of code and just highlight them and execute them makes it easy to debug, makes it easy to do a lot of things. So that is the environment. You're going to get lots of practice in this environment. Have fun with it. But that's all I'm going to talk about in this introduction. Anaconda distribution, 
language is Python, editor is Spider. Not hard to figure out. You should be able to get that part. All right, so bye-bye, Spider. Away you go. Uh, now, looking over here at the class itself, you're going to, uh, the class is online, and you're going to see the EGN3214 with the menu, and uh, this welcome video that's going to be on the main page, but uh, the menu, one thing that's going to be really important to you in that menu is the assignments, because this is all about the assignments. This class is about solving real engineering problems using a real tool. And in this case, the tools are Python, your language, Spider, your editor, and we're going to be using a lot of other tools and libraries as you progress through the class. But here's how this class works. I have seven assignments that I have written for you that are specifically taught, teach you how to use the features of the Python language to solve real problems. So one of them is a simple distance bear and bearing calculator which you can do by hand, but I have a lecture on how to do that, and you're going to write code to do this. Then interpolation, how, do you, how to solve, you're using while loops, which you're going to solve a present value problem. You're going to write functions. Okay, Those first seven get you started. At some point, you're going to break the learning curve. You're going to start being able to go, oh, this isn't so hard. This isn't so complex. At first, you're going to be going, it's a little bit foreign. It's a foreign language. I don't understand what this foreign language is saying to me. It's just like any foreign language. And at some point, you start to understand the foreign language. And then at some point, you, then at some point, you also go, wow, this is a wonderful foreign language. This is I can do all sorts of things that I couldn't do before. Well, by that point, you're going to get into assignments 8 through 15, which reads just you know, basically you're going to demonstrate that you have proficiency. So from this point on, your job is to find problems and solve them using Python and demonstrate to me that you've met these proficiencies. So in other words, some of them are simple. Outputting text, okay, ability to just print out text to the console, simple stuff or formatted numeric data. You're going to demonstrate that you know how to write code to output formatted numeric data. What I mean is numeric data that has the right number of decimal places, that might have a label. Okay, And then you're going to get to more complex things here. But it's your responsibility in these next assignments, and you can do this all with one assignment, and just be a big one, but these assignments to, and they're assignments 8 through 14, where you're going to submit engineering reports, and you're going to start checking off everything on the skill list. If you get through all of the pieces of the skill list, you're going to get full credit for being able to show proficiency in all of these areas. If you don't, you won't. You'll get partial credit for demonstrating proficiency in these areas. Now, because I'm letting you come up with your own problems, everybody I expect to have different problems, and you can actually start going after things that interest you. Not only that, but I'm also asking you to discuss these things on the discussion board because the things that interest you will probably also interest other students. Having taught this course in the past, I have found that many students find absolutely amazing things to do with Python. Building robots, developing control systems, controlling PLCs, being able to do um, AI and image recognition. These are all things that students have done as part of assignments 8 through 14 using Python. And you'll notice as you start researching Python, and notice that I am making you research the capability of Pythons. I already know the capabilities of Python. I will tell you a lot of capabilities of Python. But if you're going to use programming as a tool in engineering, I cannot teach you everything. But what I can teach you to do is how to find the libraries and things that you need to solve the problems you need to solve and have the basic programming skills to be able to do this. Right now in the engineering world, and especially in the data science world, Python is just considered a required skill. You must know how to do it. Otherwise, you aren't in that field. Okay, Just saying. That's the way it is. So I am going to, in the course of this semester, get you to that point that you can sit down behind a Python console, solve real problems, and hopefully by the time that you finish this class, you'll be solving problems that are in your other classes going, 
the best way to solve this is to break out that Python, break out Spider, get that console up and running, and be able to write some code to solve the problems that I need to solve. So, as I like to say with all my lectures, and this is the first time most of the Programming for Engineering students will actually have heard this, good programming, enjoy what you do, you've now got a powerful tool, or you will have a powerful tool to do things that you never thought were imaginable, but you'll be able to do them. So I'll see you through the course of the semester. I know that you're going to see some of those assignments and just go, OMG, how am I ever going to solve this? Right now, you're solving problems with an expert programmer that has your back. That would be, by the way, me, okay, to help you out. In the future, you won't necessarily have that. So take advantage of this, learn, and become a good engineer by being able to use the tools well to do what you need to do. And I think you're really going to enjoy this class. So on out, good programming. I'll see everybody during the semester.